And this is my wife, Karen. Join us on YouTube and Facebook in our hilarious new picking adventure as we hunt down antiques and collectibles in our hometown of Regina, Saskatchewan. We come across some pretty rare and unique items. And Karen's always got her eye out for anything that sparkles. So come with us as we search for treasures and the stories that come with them. And have a few laughs with us along the way. We are the Bargain Barons. I think I learned to appreciate over time how rare and unique some of these items are. Uh, you can't just walk into your local Walmart and, and buy some of these things. Uh, and, and that to me is the attraction. With a lot of these items, where are you gonna see another one? Or how long is it gonna take before you come across one again? And it's, it's the uniqueness of them that, that I love. But you kind of get, you kind of get motivated, like you find, something that you think is good and then you look it up and it's really good and then you get the, oh you get excited and then it's you motivated to do it again and it's sort of like i don't know an addiction i guess it's a treasure hunt you're out it there is. hunting for treasure and yeah and the first time you find that treasure it becomes addicting now you have to go out next weekend and hunt for treasure because well. what if there's something better after about a decade of doing this um i've come to the realization that Karen has a talent. You know, we have friends that go to garage sales and, and they'll come back after the weekend and say, well, we couldn't find anything. Uh, we went to all these garage sales and we couldn't find anything. And Karen has a talent for being able to run through a list of 100, 100 or 150 ads in the paper or online and pick out all the ones that are likely to have antiques or collectibles at them and sort of discard the rest. and. She's just so good at it, she nails it on the head that every weekend we're able to go out and, and, and make these finds. And so eventually we started hearing from people that, well, you guys need your own show. You guys need your own show. It's amazing what you find on a weekly basis. And this spring I just decided, you know what? They're right, I'm just gonna go out and buy a GoPro camera and I'm gonna follow my wife around and record uh, what she does because what she does, she does so well. Well, I had, been going to some garage sales with my mother for years before. So I had sort of a house full, it was a very small house, so it was very full uh, of antiques and stuff before we met. And then we sold our two houses because he had his own place too. And so we sold two to buy the one and the one was old. So then everything fit just right and then it just really snowballed from there. But yeah, she, she was an antique collector and a garage sailor when I met her. Uh, 10 or 11 years ago and she got me into antiques and into garage sailing and uh, she is definitely the expert of the two of us though. Yes, this is the table. Um, it looks like a beautiful antique table. Even the top was sort of distressed and old and, and warped and you know I, I fell in love with the look of the legs and the feet. If you look at the feet, you can see on the table, we've got these sort of nice feet. And then here, right beside it, is an authentic 100-year-old settee with very similar feet. Um, this table is probably from the 70s. Yeah, me. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it's still wood. Yeah. There's still value there, just not what uh, you thought. And I thought it was from the turn of the century when I purchased it. And it's, it's not. It's, it's about as old as me. I think my favorite find, and I, I never thought I would own one of these, but um, we came across a fully working 1907 Thomas Edison model cylinder record player. So it's, it's like a phonograph, um, but it's before phonographs. Uh, it's when records were cylindrical, before they were flat and round. And so we, we have it now. My pet peeve is when you get to a sale, and, and we're quite 
careful to be on time to not come early because people put a time for a reason that's when they're going to be ready so we are very respectful about that and then you get there and they're like oh yeah the antique dealer came like two hours ago and cleaned me out because they knocked on the door so i let them in that's my pet peeve getting there and knowing it's already been picked over two hours before you said the sale was on yeah punished, oh. punished for following the rules yeah that's that's one of my biggest ones yeah i think uh it's that people like history and they like to know where they came from and some of these objects are a reminder of where they came from and to know that there's still young younger people or a younger generation that that values these objects and doesn't look at it as old junk uh, i think people can appreciate that and people can get on board with that And when someone has held on to an object for years or decades or something that's been passed down in the family, you know, it's not always easy to sell that item for $10. It is hard because you can't, you can't buy their memories, you can't buy their sentiment towards the item, unfortunately. And sometimes their items are priced that way. It's the treasure hunt. It's, yeah. it, 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 it's very motivating uh, to get up in the morning and dream of all the great treasures you're going to find that day and, and what could be out there just waiting for you and uh, all you got to do is go know, put those shoes on and get in the truck and, and get out there and dig I think the best part is is spending time with my wife uh, Super fun. Karen's my best friend Karen's my soulmate and there's the nobody same. that I would rather be with on a daily basis and this is just the best way to have fun yeah, and we get to shop too, so I mean, it's win-win. <laughs> Who doesn't love spending money? Yeah. We are the Bargain Barons. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com.